Hey guys, and I'm back with another video, and I'm reviewing The Fall Guy, an action movie that I really enjoyed because it was really unique, and also, I was kind of anticipating this movie already because I did actually on this channel react to the first teaser, I believe. I did not react to the full trailer, but I certainly react to the first teaser and already said back then that it looked pretty fun, and I also have to say... I later learned from my friend that apparently it was actually a TV series in the 80s, which I haven't seen and almost don't know anything about it, but I really had a really good time and a full blast with this movie. It's a really cool action movie and it's also pretty unique because <laughs> it's not something I've seen before. And the movie stars Ryan Gosling, Emily Blunt, Teresa Palmer, and I think they're all pretty good in the movie. And the story of the movie is, it's about a stuntman. In the Polish title actually is Kaskader, which literally translates to stuntman. And first, I'm really glad I learned a, lot, a little bit more about the job stuntman, because as probably everyone says, almost no one cares about the stuntmen in the movie making, even though, objectively, they're playing actually a gigantic role in making of the movie, and yet, for some reason, no one ever... <laughs> even the things about them, even though they probably take most risks when they're actually making those action movies for us. But anyway, The Fall Guy is a really good movie with lots of awesome action and actually a pretty interesting story. More specifically, the story is about the guy who's a stuntman for like epic action movies. <laughs> actually like this movie actually and then <laughs> but then lead actor of the movie actually goes missing so <laughs> he goes on a mission to actually find this missing actor that <laughs> in order to also help the the woman who actually is directing the movie because he's in love with her and then he goes on a mission to find this actor and then Lots of action is happening because he's basically using his real-life stuntman skills, I mean, real life in the movie, to actually fight actual bad guys. And then there is lots of spectacular action that is involved. This is a <laughs> really unique concept, actually. It's not... It's like when I sometimes say that Hollywood almost never making original ideas, The Fall Guy is an example of the movie with an, actually a pretty original idea and it's very unique, unlike anything I've seen before, and as I was watching it, I was feeling to myself, this is what I'm talking about, this is exactly what I want from Hollywood, more original ideas, as well as... Another thing that I really liked is that, also, because as I said, they're actually directing a movie within this movie, an epic science fiction movie, that female director that he's in love with, and I really like also how... Actually, they're sort of showing the science fiction sequences of this epic sci-fi movie that is technically being filmed within the movie. Like, I mean, that was really cool and really creative and like, ah, yeah, I really like that. And also, during those action scenes, some of them are actually happening in the movie studio and the movie also shows how they are like, they're very much used to an advantage, actually, specifically for the science fiction movie that is being filmed. Yeah, I really like that. And overall... I think The Fall Guy is a really good action movie with plenty of spectacular action and overall enjoyable to watch. I, of the another action movie that came out this year, The Beekeeper, I say The Fall Guy easily wins this one. And also The Fall Guy further confirms something I've been noticing and makes me more happy. That we, that good action movies are coming back. Like, yeah, we've had Violent Night, both extraction movies. <laughs> Top Gun Maverick, The Beekeeper, although that one was uh, kind of silly and too over the top, but still, overall, as I just said, action movies are indeed back. And of all of those, I think Violent Night is still by far my favorite, and then, uh, but in the second place, either Top Gun Maverick or this, The Fall Guy that I'm just reviewing. Not sure if I would say I prefer The Fall Guy or Top Gun Maverick, but... For now, I slightly think, put them kind of on the same level, but again, I really had a really great time with the Fall Guy. I thought it was a really creative and unique concept with some really spectacular action 
and this is one of those movies I will be happy to go back from time to time. But here guys is my review of The Fall Guy and also thank you all of you for checking out this video. Press the like button, please subscribe to this channel, did you see The Fall Guy? And I'll talk to you soon in another video. Talk to you later, bye!